Hello, wonderful fellow Scorpios. How are you, my beautifuls? How are you? Sending you great love and healing. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Come into your wellness, 777. Come into a place where we practice spirituality, where we talk with the divine, where we fight against spiritual warfare. We, we do spiritual warfare and fight against negative energies. And we send out positive energies in its place. And we even cast out demons. Here's the deal. Scorpio, it's a calling. All right? And you're beautiful people. And you, many of you have, um, over the course of like five years now, really, really, really snapped to it and, get, and, and just not t tolerating anything from anybody anymore, Scorpio. And God is backing you on that because people have toyed with their high priestesses and their empresses long enough. Emperor is an emperor. You know, the upright, they've toyed with you long enough. God said, I'm tired of it, tired of it. So what I'm doing is strengthening you from the inside out so that you have boundaries and you actually rule that kingdom with me. That's what the Lord says. So Scorpios, welcome into the channel. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for your love and support. We're clearing away anything that doesn't serve us and we're casting it off of you. We're picking away things and we're bringing back into soul retrieval and the light codes back within. God is getting you ready for his presence all the time. All the time. Don't fail to talk to him. Don't fail to talk to him. This is a, <clears throat> a timeline where we're not playing with our lives. Our souls are at, have to be in alignment. Okay, You have, you have to be the, the bride who's up with her lamp filled and the wick trimmed, ready to go. Pff, lamp going, right? All right? something in the scripture so as above so below everything and holy has to go it's a mantra it's not witchcraft it's just a mantra i'm a sacred healer so i do my work holy spirit and guides thank you for my wonderful scorpios we're going to look at what they have, want to say about your journey right now between now and the end of the month do apologize for being delayed i can't help it if you only knew what i'm up against just to read for you guys. I thank you for those of you who do actually order readings. I love you. I'm still here if you'd like to get one. Um, you just email me at your wellness tarot 777 and tell me you'd like to have a reading. Um, I'll ask you what links you use, pay links you use. I've got a couple. I've got a PayPal and I got a Venmo for this channel. So you could do it that way. And if not, I can give you some of my other channel links for my main channel. Sacred Forest for my Scorpios. Holy Spirit, we're asking for your divine intervention today. Somebody needs to hear what you have to say. We need it so that we're not going astray. Who that rhymed? Show me, Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Show me, my fellow Scorpios. What's the energy for beautiful Scorpios for the rest of the month? Let's see the theme of this energy. What's the theme of Scorpio's presence right now? You guys are like balancing out dark and light really well. God says really well. It's not that you're like denying the darkness. It's that you're defeating it by bringing in more light. And that light is very light. It's very light. It's not heavy at all. It's releasing things. It's like, okay, that doesn't belong to me. Here, you can have it back. Okay. Spirit guardian of spring activation, the maypole and the swan, the twin flames. Somebody could be 36. Three is about communicating, connecting, contracts, building, growing, the tree, the tr uh, tr trinity, <clears throat> and the family of three. Someone's building something. Look at that, Scorpio. Let's see what it says to you, honeys. It says, <clears throat> oh my God. This is so cool because the secret the secret secret element in this blue lotus love oil I made for your sacral for attraction is great is um, <clears throat> daffodil. That's a secret and that's a secret one of the secrets in it. I'm not afraid to tell you that because it's a special blend, right? Custom. You can't recreate it. You can try. Okay, daffodils are surfacing throughout the dark, the rich soil. Tiny green buds are busting forth on every tree as a cacophony of birdsong fills the air. 
Flowers are bursting into blooms and there is a wild scampering through the forest as creatures large and small revel in the glorious energy of spring. A new cycle has begun again, Scorpio. <clears throat> in ancient times, people employed springtime ceremonies to clear out the old and invite in the new. Spring was sent as a time of life, seeds sprouting, eggs hatching, animals giving birth, and new beginning. Spring also refers to hope, renewal, growth, youth, and love. And ceremonies were done to honor this transition in life. That's why the Maypole, the spirit guardians say, get ready, Scorpio, big changes are ahead of you. Things have been incubating and are now coming to life. A profound transformation is ahead. Take risks, keep going, prefer, prepare for this time of upheaval, upheaval, fluctuations and renewal, and the end result will be glorious. What a great message. Scorpios, I'm just standing on that message. That's beautiful. Thank you, Spirit, for letting me read that for my Scorps. We're going to look at your energy and journey and someone you're dealing with intimately, closely with. Let's do a blessing. Let's tune up. Miracle Tone, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North. Help me, Holy Spirit and guides, higher power, creator, source, to tap into what's going on. How can I help Scorpio? And thank you, Scorpio, for liking, subscribing, hitting the all bell on this channel so we can grow and become community. I love talking to you guys, too. So thank you, beautifuls. Appreciate encouraging you. And um, <clears throat> disabled officer, ah, love you. Love you, brother. Holy Spirit, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, what's Scorpio going through? What's Scorpio right now? Show me Scorpio right now, Holy Spirit. Show me my beautiful Scorpios right now. Brokenhearted. Dealing with disappointment. Dealing with things that fell apart. Dealing with people that deliberately hurt you. Another Scorpio, maybe. Allowing death to happen, though. Allowing the uh, change to happen. Maybe that's why you needed the encouragement. Because there's people around you who like to gossip and talk. They like to hurt you. They love to hurt you. They love that. They're so fucking wicked. Excuse the language, but it's true. They're so fucking wicked. They can't control their mouth. And their energy field is one of combative. Like, I got to fight with this Scorpio. But you're single and productive. <clears throat> you are abundant. They're trying to fight against your abundance. The Knight of Pentacles. So we have a Taurus and a Cancer here. What are they doing in this reading? What are they doing in Scorpio's energy? Juggling something. Maybe they're juggling. What are they juggling? Oh, they're having to juggle because you're still victorious. They can't. Really? Yep. True Spirit says, yes. Holy Spirit says, yes, I gave you the victory. You see it clearly. If you're psychic, you're intuitive. If you know you have that divine knowing, I'm giving you victory here. Uh, God says, I'm giving you victory, Scorpio, because you can see things clearly. And now I'm giving you a crown on, to put on your head because, honey, you're my daughter or, or son, and you deserve this crown because you took care of yourself first. Tell me more. What's going on with this Taurus? They're being forced to be patient. There's, There it is. So whoever this is, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I see a Scorpio and a Taurus in the background. And they're not in the public eye. They're not even, yeah, they're on hangman. This person was trying to work against you, Scorpio, and tear you down. That's what they're trying to do, but God's making sure there's an ending. That is a complete cycle change. What, what, me, what happens? You give kindness and you give forgiveness and it breaks it breaks the uh, ability for them to hurt you and bring a tower down. So they have to deal with their, their crap. See, lovers in reverse. Oh my God, it could be a Gemini too. There's a devil playing in their energy. But what about Scorpio? You're like, I already know that shit. I'm done. I, I took back my love from them. I took back, I gave them forgiveness, but I took back my energy from them, my my passion for them, or even the desire to be with them. 
Yeah. I'm looking for a husband. I'm looking for somebody stable. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's something coming in for you, Scorpio. And uh, it'll take you out of the cold. Because you're the you're the high priestess. You have this knowing. You know you're holding that space within your sacred space. That you've been in spiritual warfare. And you know it. In the meantime, God's helping you build and rebuild. And he's sending you someone new. A new soulmate. A new soulmate on the horizon for you. Okay? And you're going to be able to create with this person and, and make something happen. And this is some energy that's coming forth. The uh, the past, they, they're kind of going to be stuck where they were because you already learned how to, to uh, get into your healing energy. You learned how to do this, Scorpio. And because you learned how to do it on your own, even in a tortured state, even when people torturing you and talking bad about you, your reputation, or trying to bring you down in any way, or compare themselves to you, or just steal from you. And um, there's trouble for these people. You take that to the bank. You know why? God is not showing that this is a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're in reverse. They're, they're real max, messed up and tired now. God's making them tired for what they've done. Uh-huh. They're karmic. There was a karmic person. And they were trying to get money off of you or share. Yeah. But you made a choice with your heart. You made a good choice. And you communicated that and you asked, reached out for help. And you held back from this one. And you held God's strength from the inner strength. And you let that go. They're in constant pain now for hurting you. Now the only lesson they have to do is learn how to surrender to God and give all that emotional uh, stuff to God. They don't look like they want to. They look like they're in opposition to love. Yeah. Stress, fear, worry, trying to manage things. Something's coming for them. Something's coming. What's coming? The queens are here. King and Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles are here. They're going to break the bond. They're going to break the spell of this person. And this person's got lost, completely lost, out of your space, out of whatever they were trying to do to you. They're completely out because your strength and your energy field, you're too bright. They cannot keep up. If they're doppelganging, they cannot keep up. You're being saved by working hard and reaching out for your own bliss and being around people that help you build, Empress. There's your Seven of Pentacles. That helps you actually build where you're at, what you want, what you're doing. And you work with divine. That's why the sun comes out. It's called resurrection energy. Mm -hmm. It's called healing. It's called starting over again. Beautiful Scorpios. It's called calling the shots. It's called being upright, being um, a little bit of all of that. That Queen of Pentacles in you is the builder. That's the person that constructs business and communicates and is making a wise, wise choice to build with somebody else because they are a soulmate. You are doing it. You're doing the work. And this is building and watching what you have. What do the guys want to say about this wicked one over here? Hmm. Boy, does that make me mad. Wow. Wow. Hold on. I have my cards organized a certain way, Scorps. Hold on. And thank you, honeys, for hitting the like button and commenting on this. I bet I'm reading somebody's message. Take what you need and leave the rest, honeys. And thank you for your love, your precious love. And the more you like the video, the more you share and comment, the more the algorithm raises as something that is valuable. Otherwise, it just puts us as puny in the background and, and we're just nothing. And that is absolutely the way that this wicked platform works. I'm not joking. Community. They worked with the community. Yes, they did. And they're unable to affect you anymore. They're not able to do that anymore. It's time for them to go. Yeah, and the truth has to be told. Something's going to come out. They didn't get what they wanted in the land of milk and honey because you shifted on them and didn't give them a change in the wind. They're stuck. They're stuck. The fates are involved. They're making sure they get what they... They're making sure they get what they got coming. What does Scorpio got coming? You're coming to the edge. You've done so much. You work from home, some of you. 
and you've been flexible and uh, and and willing to orient yourself to whatever is the right thing at the time. You've been cleaning things up. You have to clean something up. And you've been experiencing serendipity. And this is how you're going to meet that soulmate. You have to do some mending. And there will be a message in the bottle for you from a masculine. But you're handling this shit by the book, okay? Whether they're a twin flame or not, or a karmic. They want to co-create with you, but to be fair, they want justice. They feel out in the cold. What did they do? They stole your freedom. They don't have any freedom from you, not in connection to you. You're in the here and now, and they're in the in-between. They have to surrender to the higher power and go the distance and fight for their own soul. And they're sitting there and scratching their head going, why? Because you're the one that's blessed. And they see that with their own eyes. Yet they live in chaos and conflict. They're at the fork in the road trying to decide, you better not. You're at the crossroads. Scorpio has a loyal heart. And they're working on their new future. While this person's stuck in their never-ending story. Observing you and watching you. And they learn that all that glitters is not gold. But you, you have a new life. And you have a deep knowing because you're high priestess, remember? They're stuck in the unfinished symphony because they created this loop. They created the time loop for trying to get into your space and either hurt you or steal from you or gossip about you. They created the time loop and they're in the matrix and they're jacked up. Whoever this is, they're kind of jacked up. They can't affect you because you're the thinker and you have angels helping you to sort through all this and get to this new soulmate. Yeah, that's a lot of cards to read for you today, but it's great. It just, all it did was prove the uh, message was true, that these people have found out what it's like to come against an anointed one um, and to work in that type of energy against someone that's called by God. And um, it's not cool, all right? They made a mistake. These people don't have God. Now they got anxiety and all they have to do is repent. And seek him while he may yet be found. you got a lover coming in. Somebody is a soulmate. And this is going to be really great. And I hope you're enjoying this because it's really nice to be able to say that to you. All right. Who's working against you? Let's clarify that. Who's working against Scorpio the most right now? Scorpio energy, Scorpio collective. Those who are processing positive, negative energy and turning it into positive energy. We ask the whole almighty God to put a hedge of golden energy around you and protect you, a golden orb, so that you can continue to do your work. Your solar plexus will pop and you'll be balanced. We ask that you get divine intervention, divine protection, and um, go through the violet flame if you have to. Cleanse often. And seek the face of God while it may be found. This is what I just heard. Here goes Scorpio. Who, who is this person? Not for you. We have a Queen of Wands trying to interrupt your energy field with her passion or her energy or her intentions. And they are. She's trying to build. But she's not doing it with love. She's not doing it with you. Maybe she's doing it off of you. We have a Sagittarius here. Why are they being patient? Oh, I need you to know something. You know what this is? This is somebody who's married. Somebody's seeing a Sagittarius that's married. Is this, are they working against Scorpio? Somebody you ended it with because they were married. They were doing what? They're sending you hate energy. They're sending you Real pissed. This is somebody who's married. You you were with somebody who was married, or you met them, and or something happened, and you pulled back your energy from this one. And what are they doing to you? They're sending energy toward you, but you're spiritually protected and wealthy. Without them. And they are the lovers in reverse. You left that behind and they're mad. And you got them blocked. Oh my God. And now they're in huge distress. Because even though they're married, you might have been the real one. Or 
I don't know. You tempted them, man, because you got some serious passion about you, Scorpio. Yeah, they're up in their head. And now you're in the healing phase, and they are stuck with this demon. That is the truth, the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Do you understand? That's in Proverbs. The word of God is powerful, like a double-edged sword. It's amazing. I need to find that scripture. Now, who's your loyal one at this time? Who can you depend on for the rest of the month? Who's working for you? Really, really working for you. Really, really got your back. My scorps. Okay? This is somebody that has good positive energy about them. They're always talking positively. They talk about the future in a positive way. Um, they might be somebody you've known a bit for a little while. It could be a water sign or it could be a fire sign. And what is it that they feel for you? They know, okay, they know that you're heartbroken over this thing that, that you went through with this person. You gave them something, this king of coins in reverse. You Somebody gave them something and... This person is very solid. They're a solid. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's in your corner, helping you to hold it down and get through the process. Be patient and temperate. This person's kind and they're balanced. It's like, yeah, they're they're loyal. Yeah, they're loyal. But the one that you do, they're protecting you from is wicked and evil. They're immoral is the word God says. And they said that they'll fight for you. They'll fight for you. Spiritual warfare against this Queen of Wands. Yep. Player in reverse. Playing with, sharing with other people. Trying to put down their own burdens. burdens. Okay, here we go. The false emperor. Someone who played like God. Tried to act like they were God. They're now in remorse and regret. While you have someone here, magical, holding things together and helping you, my beautiful Scorpios. It could be a fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius, got your back, right here. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Here's your Aries, Leo, Sag. It could be a Gemini, or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, got your back. It's something about protecting you and sent uh like if somebody does or says anything to hurt you that person's like they're oh i'll cut a bitch kind of <laughs> energy you know that's what i heard holy spirit romance and energies for scorpio religious factors oh for sure my friends right calling in your soulmate so there are there are boundaries like don't do not become unevenly yoked somebody's flirting with you Somebody wants to flirt. What do the angels say about this? Gratitude. Because you have this spirit of gratitude, you are very attractive at this time. I'm grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons that they're bringing. What else, please, for Scorps? Finding my bliss. I'm working on it. I'm working on me and what makes me tick and connect with my higher power and divine. I am beautiful. Rejoicing in your own presence and in the presence of all the gifts that have been given to you and growing and healing. This is the number for you, Scorpio, who guides my Scorps at this time. Kuan Yin, showing self-compassion upon yourself and other. Lord Shiva comes in to help balance out transcendence as you change and alter energies within yourself, no matter what other people are doing. Michael, our archangel, says to Scorpio, prosperity is on its way, honey. Please have faith. Source will heal your financial challenges. That's a good thing because I was weeping a little while ago trying to get some groceries at the... Uh, I walked, used to walk in there and stand in line for an hour, which I did again today, only to be turned away. you got to have an appointment, but I couldn't make an appointment because I can't get food from them until the middle of June. That's crazy, but it's real, real, real. What else does Scorpio need? Illumination's coming. You're going to see things. That's why you got that Ace of Swords. 
and release, compassion and release. Nice scorps. You're going to be traveling and doing some moving around, experiencing things you've never seen before. What else, please? You're doing things by the book. Okay, so maybe that's the word. I don't know. And you're going to be experiencing serendipity again. I told you. That's like being in the right place at the right time. Door to personal healing and happiness is wide open. You're doing the work, but it's wide open. How are you doing the work? Meditation and prayer. Scorpio, God sending you animal totems. I just got my new brand new little baby kitty. Her name is Bibi the Floor. And I was doing a meditation with my bowls last night. And that little twerp, when I was done doing the bowls, she climbed in it. It's so cute. I have a little, I have a little video of that from my other channel. The Bible says, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. That was written by a grown man. The Apostle Paul, he used to have a hard, hard heart, and he used to kill Christians or people that believed. He killed them. He thought he was doing good. And then one day, in his arrogance, he's, dry, he's going to curse people or do something terrible. And Jesus said, why are you persecuting me? And he blinded him. But he had mercy on him. And he brought, through the, brought him through the experience because he had a calling on him. What it was, was God wanted to use his zeal, the passion within him, for good. And he had to be corrected, even if it meant blinding him for a short period of time. And then, of course, um, the high priest took care of him and brought him through and nurtured him through that timeline while God revealed to him that his arrogance was getting in the way of his real calling that is the message for you. I do hope that you you are taking good care of my beautiful Scorpios and hanging in there, you know. Let's see a master love message for Scorpio. Look deep within your heart. Somebody's saying this to you. When you, excuse me, and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Your spirit guides say, you may be working too hard. Beware of what you're, what you're sending out because life has an equal way of reflecting it back. So there's mirror energy here, Scorp. If there was something you could do, make a wish. You had the Seven of Cups. The answer dwells in your heart, Seven of Cups. The heart is a gateway to the soul, and the soul gives thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. And you know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. There you go, my friends. Don't forget to go to your wellness 777 on Etsy and get some of the blue lotus oil. I love you guys. Thank you. I hope this blessed you. We kind of know the energies now that you're going to be dealing with for the rest of this month. And I'll see you again soon. Um, I appreciate all your prayers for healing because I have an injured neck. I work with an injured neck. And sometimes it's so bad that I have to slow down and I can't keep up. Uh, that's not real good for my revenue, which is why I'm grateful for you hitting the like button. And um, any donations or gifts are wonderfully appreciated because it's like food. You know what I mean? So I love you and thank you for spiritually feeding me back, my darlings. Namaste, Scorpios.